Hey there, science fans! Today we're going on an adventure through the amazing world of the periodic table. Imagine a giant chart that organizes all the known elements in the universe. That's the periodic table. It's like a giant puzzle, and each element is a piece that fits perfectly in its place. The periodic table is organized by atomic number which is like an element's ID number. It tells us how many protons are in an atom's nucleus. The elements are arranged in rows called periods and columns called groups. Elements in the same group share similar properties. Think of it like families living on the same street sharing similar traits. We'll explore some of these families, starting with the most reactive metals and ending with the most stable elements. Get ready for some explosive reactions, colorful compounds, and fascinating facts about the building blocks of our universe. Let's dive in. First up, let's meet the alkali metals. These guys occupy the first column of the periodic table. They're like the life of the party, always ready to react. Alkali metals are soft and silvery white. You can even cut them with a knife, but don't try that at home. What makes alkali metals so reactive? They have only one electron in their outermost shell and they're eager to give it away to achieve a stable electron configuration. This eagerness makes them react violently with water, producing hydrogen gas and a lot of heat. Imagine dropping a tiny piece of sodium in water, it would fizz like crazy and even catch fire. But don't let their reactivity scare you. Alkali metals are incredibly useful. Lithium, for example, is used in rechargeable batteries that power our phones and laptops. Sodium is found in table salt which adds flavor to our food. Potassium helps our muscles function properly. So these reactive metals play a vital role in our lives. Moving right next door, we find the alkaline earth metals in the second column of the periodic table. These elements are also reactive but not as much as the alkali metals. They're like the responsible older siblings, still willing to participate but more controlled. Alkaline earth metals are harder and denser than alkali metals. They have two electrons in their outermost shell, making them slightly less reactive. You won't see them bursting into flames as easily as their alkali neighbors. These metals are essential for various applications. Calcium, for instance, is crucial for strong bones and teeth. It's also a key ingredient in cement, which holds our buildings together. Magnesium is found in chlorophyll, the pigment that gives plants their green color and allows them to perform photosynthesis. Beryllium is used in aerospace engineering due to its lightweight and high melting point. Now let's move to the heart of the periodic table and meet the transition metals. This large block of elements spans from group 3 to group 12. They are like the versatile actors of the periodic table, taking on various roles and showcasing a wide range of properties. Transition metals are typically hard, shiny, and good conductors of heat and electricity. They're like the superheroes of the periodic table, possessing a unique combination of strength, conductivity, and beauty. They are also known for their colorful compounds, ranging from the vibrant blue of copper sulfate to the deep purple of potassium permanganate. These metals are everywhere in our daily lives. Iron is used to make steel for buildings and bridges. Copper wires carry electricity to our homes. Gold and silver are used in jewelry and coins. Titanium is a strong and lightweight metal used in airplanes and medical implants. The list goes on and on. Tucked between the transition metals and metalloids, we find the post-transition metals. This group includes elements like aluminum, gallium, tin, and lead. They don't always get the spotlight, but they are essential for many important applications. Post-transition metals share some characteristics with both metals and non-metals. They are generally softer and less ductile than transition metals. They also have lower melting and boiling points. However, they are still good conductors of heat and electricity, making them valuable in various industries. Aluminum, for instance, is lightweight yet strong, making it ideal for aircraft construction and soda cans. Gallium has a low melting point and is used in semiconductors and LED lights. Tin is used to coat steel and prevent rust, while lead is used in car batteries and X-ray shielding. Now let's step into the fascinating world of metalloids. These elements straddle the boundary between metals and non-metals, possessing properties of both. They're like the chameleons of the periodic table. This unique position gives them a blend of metallic and non-metallic characteristics. They are semiconductors, meaning they can conduct electricity under certain conditions, making them essential for electronic devices. 
Silicon, the most well-known metalloid, is the heart of the computer revolution. It is used to create computer chips, transistors, and solar cells. Germanium is another important metalloid used in transistors and infrared optics. Arsenic is used in pesticides and wood preservatives, while antimony is used in flame retardants and alloys. We explore the reactive non-metals. This group includes halogens and some other elements like oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. They are known for their colorful compounds and essential roles in biological and industrial processes. Halogens are highly reactive nonmetals found in group 17 of the periodic table. They include fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine. Halogens are eager to gain one electron to achieve a stable electron configuration. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in our atmosphere and is a key component of proteins and DNA. Sulfur is found in many proteins and is used in the production of sulfuric acid, a crucial industrial chemical. Let's meet the noble gases, the most stable and unreactive elements on the periodic table. They occupy the far right column and are known for their lack of reactivity. They're like the independent introverts of the periodic table, content with their stable electron configuration and rarely forming bonds with other elements. Noble gases exist as monatomic gases, meaning they exist as single atoms. They have a full outermost shell of electrons, making them very stable and unreactive. Helium, the second lightest element, is used in balloons and airships because it's lighter than air. Neon is used in advertising signs because it glows bright orange-red when electricity passes through it. Argon is used in light bulbs to prevent the filament from burning out. Special group of elements called lanthanides. These elements are often called rare earth elements but they are not as rare as their name suggests. They are found in various minerals and are essential for many modern technologies. Lanthanides are known for their luminescent and magnetic properties. They are used in a wide range of applications, from high-powered magnets in electric cars and wind turbines, to vibrant colors in television screens and smartphone displays. Neodymium is used in powerful magnets found in hard drives, headphones, and medical imaging devices. We find another special group of elements called actinides. These elements are known for their radioactive nature and their use in nuclear power and weapons. Actinides are heavy silvery white metals that tarnish in air. All actinides are radioactive meaning their nuclei are unstable and decay over time releasing energy in the process. This radioactivity makes them both powerful and potentially dangerous. Uranium, the most well-known actinide, is used as fuel in nuclear power plants. Plutonium is another important actinide used in nuclear weapons and as a fuel source in some spacecraft. Scientists are constantly discovering new elements, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of matter. These newly discovered elements are typically highly radioactive and exist for only fractions of a second before decaying into other elements. These super-heavy elements are created in laboratories using particle accelerators. Scientists are still investigating their properties and how they fit into the grand scheme of the periodic table. The discovery of new elements is a testament to the power of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It reminds us that the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Congratulations! You've journeyed through the amazing world of the periodic table, from the reactive alkali metals to the stable noble gases, from the colorful transition metals to the radioactive actinides, we've explored the incredible diversity of elements that make up our universe. The periodic table is more than just a chart on a classroom wall. It's a roadmap to understanding the building blocks of matter. So, keep exploring, asking questions, and never stop learning about the fascinating world of chemistry.